In the year 1859, Charles Darwin, a now widely renowned scientist, published his famous theory of evolution in the book The Origin of Species. 156 years later, the theories described in The Origin of Species are still being applied to various scientific and social fields of study, notably psychology. This is the field of evolutionary psychology, the study of the evolution of behavior in the mind using the principles of natural selection. Different offspring of the same species compete for survival. Certain biological and behavioral variations increase the survival and reproduction rates of organisms in their particular environment. Offspring that survive are more likely to pass their genes on to the next generation, and so over time the characteristics of the whole population will change. Although largely run by nature, evolution is a process that can be guided by humans as well. A Russian scientist by the name of Dmitry Belyev attempted such an experiment. Belov wanted to find out if he could tame a fox by only allowing the most human-friendly offspring to reproduce and pass on these psychological tendencies. Forty years and 45,000 foxes later, they had a new breed of fox that were docile and domesticated. Does natural selection also explain our human tendencies? Evolutionary psychologist Steven Pinker believes our shared human traits were shaped by natural selection acting over the course of evolution. Over generations of human evolution, those with the highest capacity to adapt were able to pass along their genes, ensuring future generations with the traits necessary for survival. These genes eventually translate into behavioral tendencies that we still have today. However, some can become outdated. One such tendency was early man's affinity for fatty foods. Back then, eating nourishing food and storing its fats was essential for surviving famine. In today's industrialized agricultural world, this is no longer the case, and craving fatty foods can lead to adverse health effects such as obesity. Evolutionary psychology can also be applied to human sexuality to understand why males and females behave differently in relation to reproduction. Studies show that men have a much more increased sex drive than women. Why is this? While women's approach to sex was more maternal, as they can only carry an infant at a time, men's interest in sex was to spread their genes through reproduction so they could be passed down to their offspring to ensure their survival. And what creates attraction between opposite sexes? Typically men find women more attractive if they have a more youthful and healthy appearance which suggests high fertility and many childbearing years to come, giving men a better chance of passing on their genes to future generations. Women, in turn, are more attracted to men who seem mature, dominant, bold, and affluent. Men who can provide for themselves and their children, and who have a good potential for long-term relationship. However, much of who we are is not hardwired, and what is considered attractive does somewhat vary with time and place. Social expectations also play a role in mate preferences. Evolutionary psychology can show us how we came to be, but not how we should be. Humans have the ability to shape and direct their own path as a species. By studying evolutionary psychology, we can understand our origins and ultimately navigate the course of our own destiny.